Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my first impressions of Blue Lock. Uh, this is a is being released by Kodansha. I own the first three volumes of it digitally. It came in a humble bundle, um, and the creators are the stories by M Muneyuki Kanashiro, and the art is by Yusuke Nomura. Um, I heard a lot about this series, and you know when it. I think the first volume was just releasing physically when I got this digitally, um, the first three volumes of it. And I went, well, I'll take a look at it now. Of course, everybody's talking about it as well, because there's a couple volumes out, I think, of the, of the physical release and people are getting on board with it. Um, I think there's over 20 volumes of this in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. And I really, really loved these first three volumes. I do like sports manga. Um, I read it when I you know, come across ones I think I'll, I'll find interesting. Um, and I, this one, you know, I had heard kind of described as a bit more intense and a bit less like, let's go teamwork. And, and that is true. Um, this is the story of this young man, young, young guy. He's, I don't know, he's probably like 16 or 17 or something. He's on, I think his high school um, soccer team. And he's the, he's the forward on the team. And he, we start the series off with him um, in a game that will decide if they're going to the next stage of the tournament that they're in, and his team loses, and he thinks it's because of a call he made. He should have made a shot himself, but instead he decided to pass to a teammate who ultimately uh, missed the goal. Um, and he's kind of kicking himself of like, should I not have passed to my teammate? Should I have just have been like selfish and, and shot and made the shot myself because um, I think I could have done it and brought us to victory. And so he's kind of grappling with those feelings of like being selfish and hogging the ball versus like, no, I know I'm great. I know I'm the best. Why would I pass to a teammate that isn't as skilled as me? Oh, because of this thing called teamwork and we need to play together. And, and that's what we're told. So fast forward and himself as along with 299 other forwards, uh, who are all like, I don't know, between the ages like 16 and 18, um, are brought into this room where they're basically told, you know, we are trying to make the best, we're trying to, to find and, 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 and train the best forward that Japan has ever seen for our national team. Um, only one of you will win. Only one of you will get that spot on the national team. The rest of you will never be able to be on the national team ever in the future at any point. If you lose, you're done. Um, and so these young, these boys are like, they're given the choice. Do you stay and take a chance at the one spot or do you bow out and, you know, maybe in the future you get a chance um, go back to your high school team and do what you were doing and still keep training and, and you know, get better um, at what you do. And our main character uh, decides he's going to give it a shot. And so it's basically just, in the first three volumes at least, a bunch of different kind of mini games and different types of things that they're doing to weed a bunch of them out. Um, and they're all kind of ranked and our main character is on the lowest end of the ranking amongst the 300. And so, yeah, they're all kind of competing. And in him, he has a lot to prove because he's on the lower end. And he's, you know, what's very compelling about this so far is that, you know, you know that he's only interacting with the lower rung of players, which are all very good, by the, by the way. Uh, and you can only imagine that if these are the lower rung, what, what? Do the top players look like what are what is their skill set um and so yeah i i meant to just kind of read the first volume i had two more and i ended up reading all three in one sitting while i was trying to supposed to be going to bed to get up for work in the morning um instead i read the first three volumes of this um and so very compelling very captivating i think uh, it's not a priority for me at the moment because I'm buying a lot of t stuff right now. Um, but I think that I will probably buy this physically just because I really do want to know what happens next. Um, and it's really, really a fun read. 
and I think it is something, now I haven't read, you know, a ton of it or anything, but the vibe and the atmosphere of it um, feels like something that you probably could read again, um, just because it's, like, the art is so dynamic and cool, and it's kind of wacky, you know, it feels a bit like, uh, like Dead Man Wonderland to me, where like the characters are just like so over the top, like out of their mind, bizarre. Uh, and they're put in this really bizarre situation. And they're just like meant to deal with it. But it kind of is, they're already coming in with really quirky personalities, but then you're also putting so much mental stress and anguish and physical stress and anguish on these people that they're just like falling apart even more. And, and that was really um, the kind of vibe that I got from a lot of these characters is like, I was like, Oh, this is kind of like dead man wonderland um, without the murder. But um, definitely with a lot of like kind of psychological torture because these are teenagers and they really, this is their dream. And you're just like, let me pull the rug out from under your dream here and pit you against each other and really mess with your heads. Um, so yeah, I really do recommend Blue Lock. I think that it's not, um, you know, I read all types of manga. Um, so this isn't like completely out of my realm of things that I enjoy, but like this isn't, I don't know. I, I, I do enjoy this. And if you if you trust my judgment in any way, then I, I, I do legitimately recommend that you pick this up and give it a try because it's very compelling. And the art like this is this is just one example of the really, really cool dynamic action shots. Um, it does that really well. I find sometimes with um, whether it's sports manga or just action sequences in general, so sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on. I didn't really have that problem in this series. I found that I was very, I was able to follow where the ball was. I was able to follow who had it. Uh, the characters all look very distinctly different, uh, which is very important when you have a huge cast of characters like this. Um, they need to look different because then otherwise you're like, well, I don't know who's who and I, it, and I honestly don't care anymore because I can't tell what's going on or who's doing what. Um, so that's that's another bonus about this one as well. Anyway, if you read Blue Lock, um, without spoiling what happens in the later part of the series, um, if you've read any of it, you know, I'd like to hear your thoughts on at least the beginning of it um, and whether or not it's worth continuing. I'm assuming it is based on everybody's praise of it, but you never know. Uh, if you have anything that's similar that you'd like to recommend, or when you were reading this, if like me, you know, a lot of people are saying Battle Royale, I, I honestly really thought of Dead Man Wonderland, but um, there's other comparisons that you think you, that you thought of while reading this. I'd like to hear that as well. But anyway, thanks for watching.